Hi Stampers, this is Karen Phillip from Stampin' with Z Grandma Karen. Today we'll be making this card and I'm calling it a hangover card because this just hangs over and can flow freely if you will. But then the sentiment also holds it in places so that it can be somewhat solid. Let's get started. So for this particular card, I am using uh, this piece on top. I've embossed it and I will have all the details below the video. And we have some of the plaid paper and I used the Arrange a Wreath stamp set and in, um, dies. And these dies are pretty cool. You get quite a few of them in this bundle. So you, these two are the ones that I'm using. This one and the leaf one and the bow for this particular card. And I'm, for the stamps, I'm using the Give Thanks. It's, it's a pretty basic card. It's just called Hangover because it just hangs over. And first step is taking your top piece here using a glue dot on a piece of ribbon that's about oh two and a two and a half inches long and we're just going to put a glue dot on the back of it put it in the center of the card on the back oops not quite center on the center and then we're going to bring this forward. The next step is putting on the designer paper. And this is from the plaid, perfect plaid, I believe it's called, or plaid tidings, plaid tidings. And this will make a really nice fall card. We're leaving a little border on the left side of it. And then we will take our Reef, and I'm using just two layers on this one and so a green layer and a pumpkin pie layer so we're going to put the green layer on top of the pumpkin pie you could um, just use the liquid glue and just attach it but I don't always like the way it squirts out so I'm just using some Tombow uh, dotted tape it's not a Stampin' Up product but we could use the Tombow glue or um, the, the sheets, the uh, adhesive back sheets, that would work as well. But this, I'm, it just works easily for me. Okay, so I'm just putting some in some of it. And the reason why I like dotted glue, it doesn't leave webs as it would with one of the tape runners. So now we're going to put this on top of the other pumpkin pie. It's stuck, there we go. Okay, the next step is putting a glue dot on the end of the on the end of the ribbon, but I want this a little higher, so I'll have to trim a little bit off. Where's the ribbon scissors? <laughs> okay, now I'll just take another glue dot and put this on the front. Like so. So now this is on the glue dot is right there on the front of it. We'll take our wreath on one of the thicker parts and just set it down. And something's sticking here. The glue dot. Okay, it flipped around on me is what happened. Okay, so that's gotta change. It kind of defeats the purpose. So we'll take that off. Oops. Uh, 
always when you do videos, it goes round. Okay, so I'm gonna put a glue dot right in the front. Maybe I'll do it this way this time. So that goes right here. Okay, try again. And just set it down. There we go. Now it's going how it's supposed to. And now we have a hangover. We'll attach this to the card base. And that just goes on here. And the ribbon then, you could just use a glue dot in the center of it. And if any of the ribbon shows through, then this will cover that. It goes right on that dot. This was also in the die. I just wanted to bring in the yellow from the card, the plaid. It just goes right on top. And then for the sentiment, I embossed it with white embossing powder and now we'll just cut this out because if you put the whole thing on there, it just seemed a little too much for me. So I'm going to cut it out and it goes really quick. So if you just kind of give the little edges, it's kind of my new thing lately, I guess. Like that. And then that will go in the center with using some dimensionals. Put two on the back. Like that. And then that just gets centered in the middle. Now I guess you could glue the the wreath down if you'd like to, but that kind of defends de, defeats the whole purpose of it. But this could make a cute ornament card for Christmas or anything like that as well. Um, on the inside, all I did was stamp a little, um, a, whatchamacallit, a, a little leaf, a little oak leaf that also came in that set. And then that gets attached inside and you have a really nice fall card. That's it for this card. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.